Okay, in this problem, we're told that the elevation of a hill in feet is given by this function z equals 400 minus x squared times the quantity 1 plus sine of y minus y squared times the quantity 1 plus cosine y, such that the absolute values of x and y are less than 10. And we're told that a man is at the point pi negative pi. And we want to find the direction in R3 in which he should move in order to ascend as quickly as possible, or as rapidly as possible. So first we want to find the xy direction in which he will ascend as rapidly as possible. But we know that that is just the directional derivative of z at the point pi negative pi in the direction u. And we want to make it so that he's ascending as rapidly as possible. So that's going to be the direction of the gradient vector of z at pi negative pi. So we know that our result, or so, we, so we want to find u such that It's the normalized gradient vector of z at pi negative pi. We can easily calculate the gradient vector of z at pi negative pi. The partial derivative of z with respect to x is going to be Sorry, quick change. This should be cosine of x, not y. So this will be minus y squared sine x. So we get negative 2x times the quantity 1 plus sine of y plus y squared times sine of x. And now we want to calculate the partial derivative of z with respect to y. So we can go ahead and do that quick. You see that. So we see that the partial derivative of z with respect to y is negative x squared cosine y minus 2y times the quantity 1 plus cosine x, and we want to evaluate that at pi negative pi. So plugging in pi, or plugging in negative pi for sine of y, we get that sine of negative pi is 0, and we get negative 2 pi. pi Pi, negative pi squared is pi squared. Sine of pi is 0, so that term is just 0. Cosine of negative, negative pi is negative 1. And negative x squared is negative pi squared times a negative 1 is pi squared. Cosine of, of pi is negative 1. Plus 1 is 0, so this whole quantity is going to be 0. And that's our gradient vector of z at pi negative pi. And we want to find u such that it's normal, the normalized gradient vector of z at pi negative pi. So we can set u equal to the normalized vector as such, which we can simplify a little bit. Oops. 
and we get pi times the vector negative 2 pi over the square root of pi squared times the quantity 4 plus pi squared. We can pull this pi, this is just a, a factor of pi, and the pi's will cancel. So we get the vector negative 2 pi over 4 plus pi squared is our direction in which he should move in the x, y. But we see that we want to find the direction in R3 in which he should move in order to ascend as rapidly as possible. So this is just in R2. But inherently, the function z gives us the direction in which we should move in R3. So we can use this, this, uh, these coordinates as the x and y coordinates in R3. And then we want to know what direction in z. Well, that's just the instantaneous rate of change of z. And we already know that that is going to be equal to the directional derivative of z at pi negative pi in the direction of u. And since this is maximized, we know that, the, that this will just be the norm of the gradient vector of z at pi negative pi. So to recap, we want to find some direction x, y, z. And we know the direction in the x, y is already given to us by our u that we calculated before. So we can set that equal to negative 2 over the square root of 4 plus pi squared, comma pi over the square root of 4 plus pi squared. And then we want the instantaneous rate of change, or the gradient vector of z at the point pi negative pi normalized since that is the directional derivative of z at pi negative pi in the direction of u, which is our x and y coordinates. So we just need to calculate the magnitude of the gradient vector of z at pi negative pi. And we already know that the gradient vector of z at pi negative pi is equal to negative 2 pi. So we want to normalize it. Oh, sorry. This should be pi times the vector negative 2 pi, which is So we find that the magnitude of the gradient vector of z at pi negative pi is pi times the square root of 4 plus pi squared. So we can plug that in for about our z coordinate. And this is the direction in which we want to move in order in R3 in order for the man to increase, ascend the hill as rapidly as possible. And we could normalize this to get the unit vector in the normal way.
which is a fairly straightforward computation. We can pull out a 1 over the square root of 4 plus pi squared. And it simplifies out pretty easily, but I'll just leave it at that. So the direction in which, in R3, in which the man should move in order to ascend the hill most rapidly is given by this vector. 